Have you seen Serge lately? No, have you? Yesterday. Is he well? Very. He just bought a paint. Oh, yes? Hmm. Nice. White. White? White. I loved it. You think it's a play about art? It is a play about art, and it's also a play about great friendships and tests of friendship. So if you have great friends, or you have great friends that you argue with about things that you're passionate about, it's a must-see, absolutely. The background's white, how can you see the lines? You just do. I loved it, it was fantastic, amazingly cast. The end was stunning, I won't give it away, but uh, just the stage setup was so smart and I love the way it echoed the story. Right, so you have an idea of what the painting looks like. I loved the show, I was, I was sitting there just like, Finding little bits of myself in each of them, that was, I think that was probably the best part for me. Fashionable? I knew you were going to ask me that. Well, it's logical. No, it's for me, the great logical. thing about this show is that the, the painting itself is the catalyst for a huge amount of discussion in the play and what seems to be a very comical breakdown in the relationship between these three, three friends. Tarted up with some off-white stripes. Bugger all. Right. I think it's wonderful that they are um, showing off and promoting local art. I think it's a fantastic idea. Funny and thought-provoking, perfect balance, and the actors did a great job. The show was fantastic. Surprising, engaging, funny. It was just hilarious. I loved it. It was really well done. I think it was fabulous, and I really think that the new art director here at the Grand has done an amazing job. This is my first show that I've been to of his, and uh, all I can say is, bravo. Absolutely, people should come and see art at the Grand Theatre. Now what about Serge? Take a figure at random. Well, 10,000 euros. Ha. Ah. 50,000? Ha. Ah. 100,000? Keep going. 150. 200? 200. 200 grand. No. Yes. 200 grand. 200 grand. Is he going crazy? It looks like it. My favorite part, well I can't really tell you because it's so shocking that it would be like a, a spoiler alert. I think my very favorite part of the show was the last scene. It actually very much comes together with, I can't give it away, but that very last scene uh, uh, really tied it all together for me philosophically, which I, I loved. Would I buy a piece of white art, a white canvas? Yes, I would. I would buy it because I like provoking people, and uh, I actually have a, I told the director, I have a, I have a sunlight uh, in my house, and I would use it, I would, I would put it under there and bounce light into my top floor hallway. So you're, you, you're buying it f for a tool? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I would so basically buy it for it's art. Not really art. It's but not that's art practical, yeah, and people would comment on it. But practical. you could buy a white piece of paper and put, do the same job. Mm, no, Paint your wall white, man. Yeah. No, the wall is white. So why would you put a piece of white art on it? Because people would be going up to the bathroom and they'd go, hey, what's, what's that about? And I'd go, well... It's bouncing light. <laughs> and I did a play called Art. <laughs> oh, I see.